What is going on guys and welcome back to some more of To You of the Future, I Give Every Song. And in the last video, Miku said she can't stay with us? Like, what? <laughs> so, last time I was like, okay, there's something going on here and I wasn't sure what and I'm still not sure what. So, let's dive on in and figure out what, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, that and I didn't expect it so suddenly. Oh no. Now I get it. <laughs> You're kidding me again. <laughs> you won't fool me this time. No. I'm... I'm not kidding. Miku's eyes well up with tears. At that moment, my heart begins to pound. At that moment, I realize my true, the true meaning of that feeling I had in my chest during the recording session. I'm worried. Uneasy about something beyond my control. If you're not kidding, then what are you saying? That you've come to hate me? Is that what you mean by you can't stay with me? No! That's not it at all! It's because I'm... I'm... A trial version. A... You're a trial version? Whoa. Alright, that's... Alright. Um... Well... Um, okay. <laughs> trial version? Miku was a trial version? What is she talking about? What does that have to do with not being able to stay with me? It's very, very simple. I am a trial version, and the trial period is 10 days. I feel everything go black in front of my eyes. My brain refuses to, to accept it. I mean, I guess that would be, explain why she's upset, but why does that affect, like, her singing, then? And no trial versions, like, messed with your program. I know they give you, like, pop-ups, like, Oh, hey, trial's running out, but... Interesting. Ten days. Miku has a trial period of... Ten days? This has to be a joke, right? What else could it be? I don't know. Miku doesn't react with agitation this time. She simply shakes her head slowly. There's no helping the fact that I start to feel woozy and my throat feels dry. Ten days after I'm activated, all functionality will cease. What? The impact of this fact creates a shockwave which spreads throughout my whole body. At the same time, I recall the conversation from this morning. Apparently I spent five days with Miku and there are five days remaining. That means... That means we only have five days left, doesn't it? I feel as if though my own voice, upon hearing it, isn't really mine. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up right now. But somewhere, at some point, I feel I already understood. This is all real. Why? Why didn't you tell me this before? I only found out today. Then why did you hide it from me? Why would you hide something so important? Of course, now I know why Miku wasn't paying attention during the recording. It means that contrary to what she said, she had known about it already back then. And that she didn't tell me about it, but hid it from me. That's because I was wondering what I should do about it. I had just assumed that we would always be together. It's inconceivable that I would be a trial version, and with a period of only 10 days. I never would have even wanted no to- oh, well. Fuck! I never would have even wanted to know about this. As she says this, tears start to flow from Miku's eyes. As she breaks down and cries, the tears stream down her face. Miku, how could I fail to notice something so important? Which one of us was in the most pain? Which one of us was suffering the most? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Miku. I wipe Miku's tears away with my fingertips. In doing so, I can feel her warmth, and I feel a pain in my heart. I swear, this game's gonna make me cry, isn't it? Alright, all aboard the feels, feels train, I guess. Um, It's not over yet. I'll find a way out of this. I'm sure of it. I calmly give her a smile. I'm not giving up yet. If I do some investigation, I'm sure I can find a solution. No. Huh? You won't find a way. Why do you say that? Don't you think I've already tried to find something? 
Oh, my voice is going out. I can tell that Miku is hopeless about it. This time, I really blacked out. Whew. Now that I've done all that crying and that discussion, I actually feel refreshed. <laughs> Don't make that face like that. It'll be okay. Come on. Don't be so serious. Why so serious? It's just that the trial period will end, right? I mean, when you think about it, who's to say that it isn't selfish? Without thinking about it, I hugged Miku with all my might. What do you think you're doing? Miku. Miku. What? Don't start crying. It's immature. That's my job. I'm sorry. I... I... Isn't there anything else I can do for you? It's alright. You don't have to do anything else for me. But... Miku places her finger over my mouth to quiet me and gives me a sweet and gentle smile. Please, stay with me. Stay with me till the end. That'll be my last selfish request. For her to make such a modest request is so sad. I curse my inability to do anything about this. The inability to help someone so important to me when it matters most. But still, if that's a request. I understand. I will be by her side until the very last. So that I will never have any regrets. Thank you so much. At least I can do that much. So that Miku will still be able to smile. Alright, 31st of December. Time can be a cruel thing. There's no slowing it down, no stopping it, and no turning back. As with the present situation, in spite of my wish or desire, my time with Miku continues to pass. Mercilessly, inexorably, time marches on. I know words, I just can't read them, it's a thing. With my eyes still closed, I can hear Miku humming. Lying on the bed, I incline my ear quietly to listen. That humming is a sign. A sign that a new morning has begun. Look at the time. We need to be getting up. I think that's what I hear, being said, followed by the pitter-patter of footsteps riding over towards me. Shortly thereafter, I feel my body being shaken. Hey, it's morning. Time to get up. Come on now, wake up. Oh, a response due to her increase in volume, just as I go from sleeping to waking. Rise and shine! Ah, ow! Tay, tay! What the fuck? Ah, ow! Quit it, I'm awake. I shout reflexively after being struck in the forehead, nose, and cheek. I look over and Miku has a bored expression on her face. Huh? You woke up faster than I thought you would. Now look. The way she has said that, I it was as if she had been hoping to torment me more. Well, whatever. Good morning. Okay, first of all, Miku, let me just say I am not a, I am not a masochist. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Because Miku smiles, it makes me smile too. The bright morning sun shines into the room. Yes, morning came again today. Same as always. Hope you weren't expecting something different. And so, for my part, I behave the same as always. Alright, alright, hurry up and make breakfast. Y yeah yeah Even though tomorrow will be the last day we have together. That was very good. Thank you. Wow, I'm full. Full. Look at you, lazing around. After finishing breakfast, Miku flops down on the sofa. It's very important to rest after a meal, you know? Well, Actually, no, it's not, because apparently that could like cause digestion problems, but I don't think she'll have that problem being an android. Which brings up a plethora of questions I have that I will keep to myself. Fuck! Miku answers me with feet stamping. Jeez, if you get fat, don't say I didn't warn you. I won't listen to any such indelicate remarks. She obviously heard me, though, so I won't say anything else. If I say anything more, it would be like talking to a brick wall. Time for some TV. Using the remote, Miku switches on the TV. 
Meanwhile, I go ahead and start cleaning up the dishes. Miku, would it be too much to ask you for you to give me- Okay. Miku, would it be too much to ask you for you to give me a little hand with this? I'll make some coffee later, or whatever. My, what a pleasant reply. But I didn't expect anything else from the beginning. Huh? What's the show that- Where's the show that's usually on? End of the year special? What is this? Uh, yeah. Well, that's a special show they put out at the end of the year. Thus being called the end of the year special. I thought it was obvious. I mean, come on now. <laughs> um. How can they just up and change the programming like that? Well, it's called television and it's a very fickle thing. That's why I stopped watching television. That and the fact that no show really interests me anymore. And if, they, if I do watch TV, it's usually wrestling. Anyway, uh, <laughs> they didn't just do it. They've been doing it like this for a long time. Yeah, we also got to remember you woke her up like, what was it, like eight or nine days ago, so. Although I can understand what Miku's getting at. As a kid, it always bothered me when a show I expected to be on wasn't on for some reason. Is there some meaning behind it? Well, basically, there are various adult reasons. Atona no Jijo. Otona no Jijo. Horrible Japanese. Brought to you by... Me. Yeah. <laughs> Precious girl? Otona no Jo. Ah. No, no. It's a significant... It has a significance to it. To forget the bad things that come about this year and prepare to welcome the new year. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, is that so? Yes, so that's why, as I say it, I stop in my tracks. Because at this moment, Miku has a serious expression. No, you know, none of that stuff really matters. That's right. Today is just another day. What's the matter all of a sudden? Nothing you have to worry about now. <laughs> I'll go wash the dishes. After quickly announcing that, I head towards the sink. Because if I keep doing this, I'll get more depressed. Dude, stronger man than I am. If I was in your situation, I would be all sorts of nervous. I'd be having mental breakdowns, and I'm just like, nah, nah, fam, I can't handle. Oh, wait a minute. What? I'd like to have some ice cream for dessert. Um, we just had breakfast. So, sure. I mean, that's never stopped me before. <laughs> I should not be proud of that. I am not proud of that. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Haven't you eaten enough? Naturally, there's always room for dessert. For real, you're going to get fat, and I don't care. I said, don't speak so indelicately to me. Oh, fine. Hey, even if she does get fat, her personality is enough to keep her around, because... Debating whether I should say it or not... Uh... Editor me, put in what I'm going to say if I decide to do so. Alright. You, sh you should be humble and obedient. That's all you need to be concerned with. Wow, do you want me to be some sort of whip puppy? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> I'm, I am not like that. Nah, no, I'll stand my ground. Within reason, not going to be an ass about it, but you know. After this exchange, we look at each other and smile. Miku is concerned about me, but, mean but meanwhile, I know the pain she's going through. I had no idea that doing the same thing as always could make me so happy, or could make me so sad. Okay, that sounded kind of ominous. Here's the coffee. Okay, uh, thanks for the coffee. Um, what did you do to it? That is my question. What did you do to it? Oh, thanks. It's those matching mugs that we're used to drinking from. After expressing my gratitude, I immediately start to drink. Hmm? <laughs> and how do you like the coffee today? Tastes a little different from usual, doesn't it? Okay, what did you do to it? Tell me now. Did you put did you put love nectar in it? Please tell me you did not. <laughs> it's as Miku says. The coffee has a fine substance to it. Um uh, Mysterious flavor. Oh god, please tell me no. I'm kidding, this game did not come out when uh, that anime did. Too long of a title for me to say right now, so. What did you do with this? I put in some soy sauce. You... 
Come one, come all, have world famous Miku coffee. Now with soy sauce. Are you kidding me? Why soy sauce? <coughs> hey, are you alright? I can't get the words out to describe how, cho how it choked me up. Miku hits me on the back to help me. Hey, you. What happened? What do you mean, what happened? Who the hell put soy sauce in coffee? Don't be alarmed. I didn't put it in my own coffee. <laughs> Fucking Miku. Oh <sighs> uh, my god, this girl. <laughs> Who put soy sauce? Uh, okay, I'm not even going to ask. I see. Well, that's good then. Hey, wait a minute. What are you trying to do to me, putting that only in my coffee? Well, you don't have to shout at me. It's a perfectly normal response, but how come she's the one that gets to complain? Didn't you know soy sauce is good for your health? I mean, yeah, but like, in your coffee? I don't think it... I don't think it works. It quite works that way. Maybe if you would have like strained it with the coffee grind or the beans or whatever, maybe. Probably not. So? So, I was thinking of your well-being. I see. And what was your real motive? Half amusement, half curiosity. You weren't thinking of my well-being then? That was something she did for herself. Heh! <laughs> Don't try to deceive me by smiling. I will say though, that is quite... That is quite the cute face. Oh well. Um. Hmm. If you're going to say that, then you don't have to drink it. No, I'll drink it. I've put together some weird shit before and... Uh... And I've drinking it all. And it was the wor one of some of the worst decisions I've made. Um, food-wise, so... I keep Miku from taking the mug away. To me, this cup of coffee is priceless. I can't let it be in vain. Mmm... I, with a sip, I take a mouthful and try to taste the flavor. Because how often does one get the chance to drink soy sauce flavored coffee? You know, I bet if I were to Google that, it's probably a real thing. I will do that after <laughs> this. If I pro Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I Google that, it's probably a thing. If you don't like it, there's no need to push yourself. No, it has a very deep flavor. Unexpectedly, it livens me up. You're kidding. If you don't believe me, try it yourself. You don't fool me. I know it's a trick. That wasn't in all my attention, but Miku is very wary. Even though she's the one who added it in the first place. That's a shame. You're passing up a really good opportunity. You won't get to experience something like this again soon. Like I said, don't try to... Trick... Me... Miku? Well, in case something's about to happen, I think I'll leave the episode here. Because honestly, I am scared of what's about to happen. And if something happens, I don't think I could... No, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm save it here. Sorry, I'm gonna do another cliffhanger. And that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Can't hold on much longer. Fuck. Wow. This... This, uh... Miku is something- oh, shit, <laughs> sorry. Miku is something else, isn't she? Oh. Uh, well, I guess we're about- I guess we'll find out what happens in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, make sure to slap that Mexicus like button right on the booty. And hope to see you beautiful bastards again in the next video. So stay awesome, and be proud of who you are. Doo -doo -doo!